Hi, welcome back to my channel. Last time, we talked about how to install Olama and connect it to Node Red. Today, I'll be showing you how we can use AI to gain powerful insights in an OEE monitoring system. Let's get started. Here's the flow I built, it sends a prompt to Olama based on the OEE condition of the selected machine. I'm using a lightweight model because my VPS only has 6GB of RAM. The concept is simple, when I press the button, it grabs the current OEE value, sends it to the AI via a prompt, and the model gives back an analysis based on that data. The response is then displayed in a template node. This is the OEE dashboard that I've shown in my previous videos. On the real-time dashboard, we can select a machine to see its OEE status in real-time. There's an AI Insight button. When it's clicked, a pop-up dialog appears showing the AI's analysis of the selected machine's OEE data. We can also see the response time or total duration it takes for the AI to generate the insight. In my opinion, the response time is still quite slow. It takes more than 30 seconds, so we have to wait for the AI to finish the analysis. That's mainly because I'm running Olama on this VPS, and the RAM is limited to just 6GB. As an alternative, I also tried using AI from Broke. Broke is a cloud-based inference engine that's designed to run large language models extremely fast. Unlike local models like Olama, Grok runs the AI in the cloud using powerful custom hardware, which makes it much faster and more efficient, especially for devices or servers with limited RAM. So, instead of running the model on my VPS, I send the prompt to Grok's API and get a much quicker response. On the Playground page, we can choose from a variety of AI models, depending on what we need. In this case, I'm looking for a model that can really understand OEE, something that can analyze the data accurately and respond quickly. This is especially important when we want to get real-time insights without waiting too long. What's great is, we can test the model directly from this page by sending a custom prompt. This allows us to see how well the model understands our data and how fast it can generate useful analysis. It's a simple way to compare different models and pick the one that works best for our use case. To connect Node-RED with Grope, we need an API. Now, let's create the API. First, enter the name for the API that we're going to create. Once the API is generated, copy and save the API key, as we'll need it later in Node-RED. If you want more detailed instructions on how to use the API, you can check the API reference in the documentation. On this API reference page, we can see an example of how to send a prompt command to the Grok URL using the POST method. It also provides an example of the output you'll receive when the AI responds to your request. Additionally, you'll find more detailed explanations about the parameters to include in the request, such as the prompt structure and any required headers. This makes it easier to customize the request for different use cases and ensure the AI provides relevant insights. Let's start by trying a simple flow. First, we'll use an inject node as the trigger. Then, we'll add a function node that contains an example prompt related to the OEE data and the command for analysis. In the function node, we'll set the payload to specify the AI model we want to use, along with the relevant parameters. This ensures that the request is sent with the correct model settings. Next, connect it to an HTTP request node, using the URL from the Grok API reference. Don't forget to include the API key that we obtained earlier. After that, connect the flow to a debug node so we can check the AI's response. Once everything is deployed, click the inject node to trigger the prompt. You'll see the output generated by the AI in the debug node. To determine the path of the output that will later display on the template node, you can check the structure of the response in the debug node. 
By analyzing the output, you can identify the specific path of the data you want to show, and then use that path in the template node to display the relevant information. Now, I'll be modifying the flow from before to analyze OEE data from the selected machine. This time, instead of using OLAMA, I'll switch to Grok's AI. It's important to ensure that all parameters are correctly set, and we'll also need to select the appropriate AI model for the task. By using Grok, we aim to improve the response time of the AI's analysis and make it faster and more efficient. Now, let's test this on the real-time OEE dashboard. Start by selecting the machine you want to monitor the OEE condition for in real time. Afterward, click the AI Insight button, and a pop-up will appear showing the AI's analysis of the selected machine's OEE condition. The response is quick, usually under one second. The AI will provide a summary of the current OEE condition and offer suggestions for improvement to enhance the OEE. The response will differ based on the specific machine selected, as it tailors its analysis to each machine's data and condition. Next, I will configure the AI to analyze multiple data points, starting with a selected date range. First, choose the machine whose data we want to analyze. Then, specify the date range for the analysis. Afterward, I'll use a text input field where we can enter the task that will be sent to the AI model, along with the data from the selected machine and date range. Once the analysis is complete, the AI's response will be displayed in the template node. Here is the AI chat page. First, we need to select the machine and the date range of the data to be analyzed. You can't directly type a command into the input text field right away. After selecting the machine and the date range, click the submit button. Once that's done, you're ready to send your prompt to the AI. The AI will analyze the selected data, for example, it can calculate the average OEE, detect performance trends, identify potential issues, and even suggest specific actions for improvement. The AI's response will then be displayed in the template node below. This makes it easier to get valuable insights from historical data without manually analyzing it yourself. That's all for this video. We've explored how AI can be integrated into an OEE monitoring system, not only for analyzing real-time machine performance but also for reviewing historical data based on selected date ranges. By combining Node-RED with AI models, either running locally with Olama or through faster services like Grok, we can turn raw OEE data into valuable insights. We saw how the system can automatically generate summaries, highlight issues, and even suggest improvements tailored to each machine's condition. This brings a new layer of intelligence and decision support into manufacturing operations, helping teams focus on what really matters, improving productivity and reducing losses. I hope this demonstration gave you ideas on how AI can be used in your own factory or learning environment. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, leaving a comment, or subscribing to the channel for more content around smart manufacturing, industrial automation, and AI powered tools. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.